Hello learners, this is Sir Carl. Welcome to Empowerment Technologies class. In this video tutorial, I am going to teach you on how to integrate materials on Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word allows you to create documents. And this word processing software allows you to integrate materials that can make your files rich and more efficient. In this lesson, you will learn the different types of materials and on how to utilize them on Microsoft Word. As I mentioned earlier, you can integrate different kinds of materials on Microsoft Word. You can find these materials in the Insert tab. Pictures, Online Pictures, Shapes, Icons, 3D Models, Smart Art, chart, and screenshot. Let us get to know the characteristics of the following materials. Let us start with pictures. These are electronic or digital pictures or photographs you have saved in any local storage. There are three commonly used types of picture files. JPEG. Short term for JPEG or Joint Photographic Experts Group. This type of image file can support 16.7 million colors. That is why it is suitable for use when working with full color photographic images. Next, GIF. This stands for Graphic Interchange Format. This image file is capable of displaying transparencies. Therefore, it is good for blending with other materials or elements in your document. This also supports animation. The third most commonly used type of picture file is PING. This stands for Portable Network Graphics. Its development was basically for the purpose of transporting images on the internet at faster rates. To insert picture, go to the insert tab, and select pictures. Now you need to select the file that you want to integrate on your Microsoft Word file. You can get a picture based on the storage or from the storage of your computer or any device. Here you go. You may resize the image and you may also do some editing of it. Next, we have online pictures. These are images coming from variety of online sources. To integrate these materials, the computer should be connected to the internet. To insert an online picture, go to the Insert tab. Choose Online Pictures. Make sure that your device or computer is connected to the internet. Select a picture that you need. Press Insert.
Let us wait as the file is being downloaded. Here it is. There are many pictures that you can get from the online picture selection. Shapes. These are printable objects or materials that you can integrate in your document to enhance its appearance or to allow you to have some tools to use for composing and representing ideas or messages. To put a shape on the document, go to the Insert tab. Select Shapes. After selecting the shape, you need to draw it or plot it on the document. There are various shapes that you can use in your document. You may also use these shapes to present text creatively. You can do that by adding a text. Icons. These are graphics of symbols that can be customized. These are categorized. To include icons on your document, go to the Insert tab. Select Icons. There are categories where you can get graphic symbols. You can adjust the selected icon. 3D models. These are three-dimensional images that can be rotated. It is one of the newest additional selection of materials under the Insert tab of Microsoft Word. To include a 3D model, go to the Insert tab. Select 3D models. There are two options on how are you going to integrate a 3D model you can have from a file or from online sources. I will select from online sources. There are varieties of 3D models that you can use in your document. After choosing the model, click Insert. Let's wait. Here is the 3D model. You can rotate 
this um, material. Smart art. These are predefined sets of different shapes grouped together to form ideas that are organizational or structural in nature. To put a smart art in your document, go to insert. Select smart art. There are varieties of smart art graphic or graphics that you can use in your document. You are allowed to encode text and you are also allowed to adjust the graphics. Chart. This material can be used to represent data characteristics and trends. This is useful when making reports as data can be showed in form of graphs. To insert a chart, go to the Insert tab. Select Chart. There are many categories of charts. In this case, I am going to use a pie chart. There are also varieties of pie charts. I will use this one. Click OK. In this material, you are going to use Microsoft Excel in order for you to manipulate it or change its feature or features. Check the chart. Here is now the chart. Lastly, we have screenshot. What is screenshot? This material is a captured image of contents displayed in the computer. To do it on Windows, press the Windows key and print screen key together. How to insert a screenshot file or how can you do a screenshot in Microsoft Word? Go to the Insert tab, select Screenshot. It says here, that you can quickly add a snapshot of any window that's open on your desktop to your document. Here, there are available windows. You can select this one and include it in the file. Or, 
go back again to the insert tab and then we have the screen clipping you can also insert a screenshot file by going to the pictures and go to the scre uh, screenshot folder and select the file let us do a recap of what we have learned in this video tutorial what are the eight different kinds of materials that you can integrate on microsoft word we have pictures online pictures shapes icons 3d models smart art chart and screenshot how about the three types of picture files we have jpeg gif and ping i am happy that you learned something from our lesson after learning the different kinds of materials that you can integrate on Microsoft Word, it is now your time to show or demonstrate what you have learned. Take a look on your WHLP and see the task or activity for integrating materials on Microsoft Word. This is Sir Carl reminding you that technology is a power that can make lives better. See you in the next lesson.